Hey guys, here for another video. If you hear weed eating sound, my neighbors weed eating. So, uh, if, it, if you start hearing that, that's what's going on. He's weed eating outside. So, uh, getting to the video now. This video is going to be about going to the bar. You know, the area that I went to and that I got kicked, you know, I got booted out of because I did something wrong or whatever it is, right? Um,. And, I, you know, I told Mom about all this. I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring her into this, you know. She shouldn't have to deal with all this. But um, I did because, you know, in case something happened. I mean, she needed to know, you know. And I still, that's why I told her. Uh, in case something happened. You know, something happens to me. Um, she um, asked a good question. I should have explained it a little better because I didn't, you know, I was just so upset and angry. But she asked, well, why were you standing out there? You know, I mean, like like it matters, you know, I have the right to stand there. I wasn't on their property. I was away from it. But, you know, for the sake of the discussion, I'll give the discussion. So I guess it's a fair question. Actually, I don't. Screw it. It's a stupid question. I wasn't bothering anybody or saying anything or doing anything. But I'm going to answer why I was standing out there. Well, I go there sometimes because the bar that I go to, the other one, the only one now that I can go to, and I'm sure they're going to try to somehow get me out of there too, uh, the one that I go to, uh, it gets boring. Uh, I have to say, the glory days of going down there are kind of over. Not a lot of people go as much now. Uh, ever since COVID happened, that's just kind of ended that, it seems like. It's just never really gotten back to normal and uh, I get bored there and I'll walk up to where it is and stand there and watch the girls kind of come in and out ooh you know real evil thing to do um, how dare I have eyes you know but uh, the reason I stand out there because people can say well why don't you go in number one I'll never go in there after what happened I mean they could beg me to come in I'm not going to go in screw that place and I hope it goes out of business um but what got it started, because I told you the guy said I got kicked, kicked out of there, which I didn't. That's not the one I got kicked out of. Uh, I stopped going there in 2020 after COVID happened. Because it's one of those bars, it's got an upstairs area, but it's real tight, real closed in. And, you know, I was worried at that time because that's before the vaccine and everything. And mom, you know, I didn't want to make her sick. You know, I, I was too concerned over that. Uh, making her sick and so I quit going in there and I just never really started back you know I, di I didn't go in there because of that reason and on top of it they had an issue that happened there later on apparently somebody brought a weapon or something in there they let a lot of a certain persuasion go into that bar it's very much known as your um, your uh, you know, you know who I'm talking about. I can't say it on here because I don't want to get my video booted. But you know who I'm talking about. And they let a lot of them in there. And I figured it was one of them that brought the knife or the gun or whatever they brought in there. Well, they started searching guys. You know, you know how you, you get patted down like at the airport and all that garbage? Well, I didn't like that. You know, I didn't do anything wrong. And I understood why they did. But they were selective in who they patted down. For example, they never patted the girls down. Never. Yeah, you could say, well, if a girl's wearing a skirt or a dress, she can't really sneak a gun in there. Yeah, fair enough with that outfit on. But she has a purse. She could bring a gun into a purse. Of course, we all know men commit the majority of the violence. By the way, good job, men. Um, good job, you know, giving people an excuse. Good uh, stupid fucking idiots. Uh, and a certain persuasion, a certain group of people. Thank you for existing. Because um, you're pathetic. But anyway. Uh, but still, it's discrimination. And I didn't like that. So I didn't go in. That was one of the reasons I didn't go in. I didn't respect that. I didn't like that. Uh, I think everybody should be searched. You know, everybody should be patted down. Men and the women. But they discriminate. And like I said, I don't go into all that. It's so tiresome. You know, our country's so uh, discriminatory and so racist. Uh, the opposite way of what you believe. But anyway. Uh, and another reason 
I didn't go in there. All these are adding up. Is uh, I couldn't wear jeans for the longest time. Still can't because of the benzo withdrawal. But my skin is very sensitive, and for some reason, jeans would bother me. They may not bother me as much now if I wore them, but you know, of course, I, I can't go in because I got kicked out imaginarily. Uh, but anyway, uh, I didn't wear jeans for the longest time because I wasn't able, and I didn't go inside. And uh, they would not let people go in there if you wore sweatpants. They let girls go in there with sweatpants on. I saw them do that many times. They also let uh, certain guys go in there. I mean, like I said, discriminatory to the hilt, you know. Uh, so that was the other reason I didn't go in there. And finally, the main reason I didn't go in there, you couldn't wear, uh, you know, I can't wear shoes because the benzo withdrawal. It makes my nervous system start going off. So I can't wear shoes. And they wouldn't let you go in if you wore sandals. I know. <laughs> They're idiots. It's not me. You know, whatever. And I think you couldn't go in if you wore shorts. I can't remember, but I know the sandals part. They wouldn't let you in. So they're idiots, and that was another reason I didn't go in. So you get where this is going, you know. It's not my fault that I didn't go in. It was, number one, the COVID circumstance. Number two, their discriminatory practices. Number three, uh, well, that all kind of ties in, but uh, not let, you know, you couldn't go in if you wore sweatpants, which is stupid, and you couldn't go in if you wore sandals, which is stupid. Either way, they're idiots, okay? We get it. So that's why I was standing out there. And how long did I stand out there each time, you ask? Most of the time I went there and I stood out um, for about, I would usually go over about 1 o'clock in the morning because all the bars close at 2 around here. So I would usually go at about 1 o'clock and that was when people usually started leaving the bar area at 1 o'clock. So that's why I went over there. And I would usually stay for about 1 o'clock to 1.30 in the booth that I was at. So there you go. Judge me how you will. That was what I did. Did a woman squeal on me? I have no idea. I, I don't know. You know. Uh, they wouldn't tell me the truth if she did or not. But anyway. That's my story. You judge what you think of it. <laughs>